Hi, I'm Megan from Jamunky, and this message or this question rather is uh, for Kaya. And what are some of your family traditions and stories that have been passed down um, with your family? So I actually don't have much family traditions. One thing I do is for every Christmas we have, each grandchild kind of has like their own tree. So I have like my own mini tree and okay, I wouldn't say this is a tradition, but something I've always done growing up is have big barbecues on the beach with my family, mostly when I lived on Oahu, but I would literally wake up on a towel on the sand, and then I would just be able to swim when my mom went surfing. Fantastic. Thank you. Hi, I'm Carolina from What C Says. Um, My question is for Owen. Owen, um, how... Have you ever visited to Hawaii prior to this movie? Have you lived there? Um, How did you learn the language? (laughs) Um, No, I've never visited before. I mean, I saw the pictures online and I thought they were beautiful. Um, And the really, I I think I learned a lot more about the culture more than the language. I still don't really know a lot of the words, but I learned them all from Lindsay who plays Hana. She taught me like so many things about how to pronounce the words and a lot of the food, Hawaii has incredible food. Um, but yeah, I've totally never been before. So I was like a complete baby coming into it, but I learned so much. Hi guys, I'm Amanda from Guide for Moms and Crazy Amanda Reacts on YouTube. And my question is for Owen. I wanted to know um, how important was it for you to be on a film that you know was so much about inclusiveness in the Hawaiian culture, especially being kind of the odd man out, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, It was extremely important. I think, especially during this time with so many things happening with Corona and, you know, all these events that have been happening, I think films like this with inclusivity are things that we really strive for and things we need to really focus on. Um, Yeah, so I'm very happy that I was a part of it. I'm happy that I could help it get done. And I think it's an absolutely incredible message that people need to hear. Hi, I'm Christina with thepatricias.com. And my question is for either of you who would like to answer. Um, The film is very family oriented. And I was curious, did it make you connect more with your family after filming the movie? Yeah, I'd say for sure. Yeah, I think, I mean, even playing for the role of Peely, you know, even though she's connecting with her family, I feel like it also made me realize as a person how important family is, you know, blood or not. I think it's really important to treat others with like aloha and respect. And I think, I hope that's a message that people get when they watch it and they see how important it is to, you know, take care of the people you love. Um, exactly what Kaya said, I agree with, but I think, um, I think even Kay and I, we still have got more to learn and we learned so much being on the film about family and how important it is, I guess, how important Yerohana is in the spirit of Hawaii. Um, yeah, I think it's very important. Hi, I'm Lynette with fantasticlife.com. Saw the movie, absolutely loved it. Um, there was so much comedy throughout the film. So I sort of want to know how you guys were able to keep your composure, if you guys were able to at all. Like, how did that play into it? Because there's so many zings back and forth. Um, we didn't keep our cool most of the times. Uh, there was a lot of laughing, especially with Alex on set, who's like crazy good at the improv and all the comedy that he's able to do was, I mean, impressive really. Um, so yeah, I mean, we didn't really keep our cool whatsoever. We were laughing the whole time, but it was definitely a fun time. Hi, I'm Kathy with Bella and Mommy. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. We loved the movie. It's one of the greatest family movies adventure we've seen in a really long time. I wanted to know what was your favorite scenes and was there something from on set that you took home? So my favorite scene is definitely the water scenes. First of all, when I was in the water, I loved seeing everyone's faces when I was, you know, yelling for my brother. And I think I, you know, I've never done a water scene before. It was my first movie ever. So I think getting to do a water scene like that, you know, I've always wanted to do one and it being the first movie that I've ever acted in. It was, it was, I was really grateful for that moment. And, you know, I, I see, I even seen some people shed a few tears. So that meant like a lot to me and it helped me get into character a lot. And something I brought home from said, I think 
it was just a reminder for me to always like spread aloha with everyone. You know, everyone on set was so sweet and all the cast, it, they made me, it made it easier for me to, you know, get into character and it was all like one big family. So yeah, it just reminded me of Ohana. Um, I think my favorite scene to film was definitely also the water scenes, but I think my absolute favorite was anything where we were doing like any of the stunts that we did ourselves. We would be like put in harnesses that are really tight. You can't like breathe, by the way. And they would like hang you from the back of your harness. Um, especially like when we have got, we got that scene where we jump off of the top of the waterfall and that was all in a harness. Um, and I think something that I brought back from set aside from the memories was all the wrap gifts. Cause at the end of the movie, it's called a wrap gift. Um, at the end of sets, a lot of the people will give gifts to everybody. And so, yeah, I got, I mean, Kay, you did too. We all got a lot of wrap gifts at the end of the set. Hello, this is Victoria Infante from Ser Mama Latina. You can hear me, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is a question for Kia. Um, Kia, uh, we were told that you were very nervous uh, because you thought you didn't have any previous experience as an as a, um, actress. So let us know, uh, how do you prepare for this role and how difficult for you was for you to be in front of the cameras? So, okay, I'm a dancer, so I'm kind of used to like being in front of the camera because, you know, I do competitions and I perform in front of audiences. So I wasn't really scared for that part, but you know, with acting, it's totally different. It was my first ever movie. So I had so much nerves inside of me, but I think what made it a lot easier is definitely the people that I got to act with, you know, all of the cast and the crew, they were super, super sweet. And they made me feel super welcome. And I felt like I could, yeah, be the character, but I could also be myself. So that definitely helped take away my nerves a lot. So I'm dying to know from either of you, what is one thing or place that you think everyone should experience in Hawaii? Okay, the first place, it doesn't have to be a specific one, but if you come to Hawaii, you definitely want to go to the beaches. Because, you know, some people may think there's nice beaches, but I'm telling you, Hawaii, there's, the water's very clean, it's warm, the sun is shining on you, and if you can, make sure to get some good snacks from Hawaii with it too. Because, you know, a beach plus the food from there, it's it's amazing. So any beach is so cool. Uh, in my opinion, the best place to visit in Hawaii, you know, aside from the beaches, which by the way, they look just like they do on the internet. Like what you see with the blue skies and the white sand, that's literally what it looks like. Um, but... I think that Kualoa Ranch, which is, I believe, on the north part of Oahu, is it's like where they filmed Jurassic Park, some of those scenes. I remember, like, the first time we got there, I was, like, awestruck by the size of these giant, I think they were mountains, and they were incredible. And I think the other place is definitely Leonard's Bakery, which I think is also near the North Shore. Yes, okay, she knows Leonard's Bakery. Um, the Malasada is from Leonard's Bakery absolutely like the best thing I've ever tasted. Hello, um, this, this, sorry, this question is for Kia. How are you like your character and how are you different? So I think Peely and I have similar backgrounds. She's, she's from Oahu, but you know, she moved to Brooklyn, New York when she was young and she had her whole life there. And I'm from Oahu, you know, I was born and raised there until I was eight years old. And then I moved to LA to pursue my dream of acting and dancing. So I think we're kind of similar in our background type of way. And the difference between us is she's a geocacher. So she's very adventurous. I've actually never geocached in my life before. I guess you can kind of count our movie geocaching, but that was, you know, more for the character. But I definitely, I definitely like to try it out someday. Hi again. This time my question is for Kaya. So I heard that you helped choreograph the last dance, the final dance in the film. So how did that come about? So I'm a dancer and Jude wanted to incorporate uh, dancing into the movie. So, you know, a lot of people think it was just me, but it was also Owen, Lindsay and Alex. We all had our own little part in that dance and we all put it together. So I started it and then I think, oh, what was it? What was the order? Was it? It was Alex. you, Alex, me, Lindsay. Yeah, and then we all put it into one big dance. So you know, I can't, I can't take all the credit for that because it was all four of us. 
Hi again. My next question is um, for either one of you. Are there any specific messages or lessons that you're hoping that families take away from this movie? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the main message is the importance of your family, um, blood related or not. I think your family can be whoever you really want it to be, whoever's close to you. My dad likes to use the term, like whoever will go up to bat for you is your family. I don't really know what it means. I don't know basketball, but is it <laughs> baseball? Sorry, sorry, so sorry, baseball, baseball, baseball. Um, but yeah, I think that's uh, the main message is the importance of family and how, I mean, you'd kind of be nowhere without them. So I'd love to hear from both of you how being in this film made an impact on you personally. So I think, you know, like I said, it is my first ever movie. So going into it, I had no idea what to expect. But now I feel like if I ever do another movie, I'll like be a little bit more prepared about what's to come. And, you know, maybe it's going to be a whole different thing, but I think I have a little jest of what to expect. And, you know, it, it reminded me like how important family is. So I think coming out of it, it just reminded me about how important it is to, you know, take care of your loved ones. And I think, yeah, I, it was, it was just such a fun experience. And I think it's also something that I could always have in the back of my head. You know, if I ever have kids one day, I could be like, you know, I had my first movie when I was 13. So that's really cool. Um, I mean, yeah, I think, really just the experience of being in these places is probably the thing that uh, impacted me the most personally, but also just, as Kaya said, the message of the movie, uh, the message of the importance of family. I think it really just kind of brought more clarity for me personally as to how important those things are. 